out of 13 piglets being born, you are having about 16 to 20 percent death occurring. Why is this happening? My name is Angela Aite, and today I'll be talking you through the causes of piglet death on pig farms. And for each cause of piglet death on farms, we are going to talk about how to minimize the occurrence of these deaths on farms. Let's get right into it. So let's note this. There are several factors that contribute to piglet death during and after farrowing. But then the most prominent ones are stillbirth, crashing and starvation. These three are the most common causes of piglet death that have been recorded on several farms. So I'm going to go into details on these three and how you can minimize the death of piglets through these means. So let's take the first common cause, which is stillbirth. So what is stillbirth? In simple terms, stillbirth refers to when piglets are born dead on arrival or born alive with reduced viability. And these live-born piglets with reduced viability have a very low chance of survival after birth. So probably you've had instances on your farm where your soul goes to farrow and the piglets being born die instantly or they are very weak and then die after a short while. Piglets dying through stillbirth can be caused by maternal effect. And when I say maternal effect, it means that the problem is coming from the soul. So in some cases during the gestation period, maybe the farmer did not provide enough fiber for the pregnant soul. And this can lead to constipation. And constipation will then result in stillbirth. Also, keeping the soul in environments with high temperatures can lead to stillbirth. And stressed souls are likely to farrow stillborns. So another cause of stillbirth is placental insufficiency. So you know the placenta is responsible for carrying oxygen, blood, and the nutrients to the developing fetuses. Now this is what happens. For souls that get pregnant with large litters, there's a competition for these nutrients that are being supplied. And it may not be sufficient for all the piglets. And if oxygen is not enough, if nutrients are not enough, if blood is not enough for the developing fetuses, they may all not be able to survive. Also, stillbirth can be caused by prolonged periods of farrowing. So let's say your pig starts farrowing and has some problems during farrowing and you are not around to assist it and there is a delay, the piglets may die before they even come out. So let's look at how we can prevent or minimize the occurrence of stillbirth during farrowing. One, ensure that you give extra fiber to your pregnant soul during the late gestation period and also give it enough water. This will help to prevent constipation, which causes the obit. Now, the next point, do not keep your souls in high temperature environments. As high temperatures can cause heat stress and stress will lead to still bit. The third point is monitor the progression of farrowing. Be around, calculate and find the exact day your pig is going to farrow so that you'll be present to monitor the whole farrowing event in order to help piglets that may be born weak. So that is all for stillbirth. So now we know that stillbirth is one of the causes of death of piglets during farrowing. And also we've talked about the causes of stillbirth and how to prevent stillbirth. Now let's move to the next one, which is crushing. Crushing is simply the soul stepping or lying on one of the born piglets leading to its death. This is very common and it usually occurs to piglets that are very weak because on a normal healthy piglet will get out of the way of the soul once they see it moving they will get out of its way so weak piglets that are not able to move are the ones that are prone to being crushed by the soul now this is the cause of crushing you know before farrowing you're supposed to create an environment a smaller environment an enclosed environment where the pig can farrow so this is a very common thing i'm sure it has occurred on almost every pig farmer's farm it is very common. Even recently, I had a piglet dying because the mother stepped on it and then that was it. So what causes crashing? The environment, the housing system in which you keep the pigs that are going to farrow. So typically, the farrowing areas that restrict the movement of the soul is less likely to cause death because if the place is very small or enclosed just for the soul to fit in and for the piglets also fit in, then the soul would not be able to move about very much and it will reduce the likelihood of the soul stepping on any of the piglets. So how can we stop piglet death by crushing? Create a farrowing pen for your pregnant soul during the late gestation period so that you put it in it, 
then by the time farrowing begins it will be in that area already and then have the piglets there movement is restricted and the chances of the piglets being crushed is reduced or totally removed so let's move to the third cause of piglet death during farrowing which is starvation so starving piglets can also lead to their death when piglets are born they feed on the milk from the teeth of the soul so maybe your soul delivers piglets that are more than the teeth present on the soul now this is what is going to happen some of your piglets are going to be starved if you are not present to regulate the feeding so you have to be present especially during the first eight hours after the piglets are born so that you ensure that each piglet gets a good amount of colostrum i've already talked about the importance of colostrum it is very vital to the survival of piglets after birth so let's look at the other causes of piglet death so if you make your farrowing pen or your farrowing crate with sawdust or wood shavings it is very very risky so the sawdust or the wood shavings can get into the nostrils of the piglet blocking the path and preventing it from breathing well which can suffocate the piglet to death also if the sawdust remains in the nostrils of the piglet over time it is going to produce ammonia which can cause the death of the piglet another cause of piglet death after birth is lack of iron that's why it's very important to inject all piglets with iron during the first week of their birth an inexperienced so or guilt is another cause of piglet death on farms so for a soul that has not furrowed before that is a guilt it may encounter some challenges during birth because it has not done it before so you have to be present to assist such a fresh soul during birth also some inexperienced souls are actually bad mothers they do not have good maternal instincts and they might not lay down for the piglets to feed that's why your presence is needed another cause of piglet death which is less talked about is inbreeding inbreeding is the whole lot and i'm going to treat it probably in my next or next two videos so watch out for that so i'll see you in my next video it's bye for now